Let's be real, Alan Richardson's Bad Castle from Blue Mountain State is the funniest character I've seen on TV. I love Bad Castle more than Bad Castle loves shoving Oreos up his ass crack. That's how much I love Thad. And dare I say, Thad Castle is the perfect example of the stupid jock trope while being very unique. First things first, gotta give the writing for Thad Castle some props. Because the writers wrote this cartoonishly over the top, dumb football loving crackhead while weaving some sadder aspects to him. Not saying that Thad Castle is a tragic character at all, but he's a character with not that much awareness about himself or others, especially with being alone. It's pretty relatable because this loneliness is almost childlike. For example, when he's giddy, not like that, to hear his teammates are like his brothers, in turn, he hugs every teammate like they're the brother he never had because he's only a child. He hugs them like he's like a child to a degree, which is kind of sad, all things considered. And then he says some out-of-pocket shit like, Hey, do you see now that we're bros, that makes me half black? And then that's how the show brings levity back into the situation, especially with Thad, which Blue Mountain State in general is just the most unserious show I've ever seen. And I love it so much. Another example of how hilariously tragic Thad is, is when he reveals how he got the name Thad. Turns out, Thad is just the word sad, but with a lisp, which Thad's real name, Kevin, had a lisp as a kid. And he'd always say to himself that he's sad, which in return, he'll always know himself as Thad, cause he's always sad. Pretty heartbreaking, all things considered, especially for unserious show like Blue Mountain State, it really showed the heartbreaking reality we all face. Because even through all the dopamine and all that shit we consume on a daily basis, like drugs, sex, self-indulgent videos, hey, frankly, we're just still sad people trying to chase happiness. And Thad Castle does this on a daily basis, constantly taking any drug known to man while sleeping with nearly every woman at BMS. Yet he's still chasing for that happiness, like we all are. And when you think about it, without that lisp, Thad Castle's actual name is Sad Castle, which means he could have everything in the world, really. Good looks, good genetics, girls, drugs, fame and fortune, yet he's still not satisfied or happy being in this huge large castle because as humans we're never truly satisfied it's just who we are and finally the legend of that castle wouldn't be possible without alan richson's spectacular performance no glazing shit but alan richson made that castle as iconic as he is he's so good that no matter how well he intensely acts as his hulk of a man on reacher i can't buy it because whenever i see his face i just think of <laughs> And I honestly want to keep it that way. No matter how much badass shit he does as Reacher, I'll always see him as the guy who eats Oreos out of his ass crack. And that's when you know that Alan did a great job. It doesn't feel like he's acting like a crackhead. It just feels like Thad acting like Thad. Like the out-of-pocket pussy shit he says or does is so out there, yet it doesn't feel like he is trying to be a clown. He's just delivering those lines like how the batshit insane Thad Castle would. And I believe that's what the best performances are. When you don't think they're acting anymore, but experiencing the moment as the character, embodying a whole different person altogether making the audience engage with the media. And in this case, for me, making me absolutely die of laughter whenever Thad Castle's on screen. That's what a great performance is to me. I can say that about my dearly beloved Anthony Starr as Homelander, and I can say that about Alan Richardson as Thad Castle, being one of my favorite performances in fiction. So yeah, Alan Richardson's Thad Castle is the funniest character in fiction, written hilariously with tragedy weaved in there while being outstandingly performed by Alan Richardson. And honestly, Thad Castle is a representation of why the show Blue Mountain State's absurd and immature humor works. And one thing to take away from Thad Castle in general is to be really dedicated to your craft. Be so dedicated to the fact you've been doing some crazy ass shit and enjoy every single waking moment you have because it doesn't last forever. None of this stuff lasts forever. And finally, to appreciate your bro beans while they're right in front of you, even in front of the sleuths. So yeah, this is your PSA to watch the Iron Claw as well. By the way, it'd be really cool if the fan casting for Alan Richardson as Batman came true. I believe Alan Richardson 
could pull it off really well, especially based off his work on Reacher, being charming, brooding, and intelligent, while being a huge ass man, no pause. And I'd find it so funny if Alan went from being this crackhead football player, Thad Castle, to being one of the most iconic characters of all time, Batman. Would be one of the craziest acting globes I've seen since Robert Pattinson went from a romantic vampire to a literal bat. So yeah, I'm rooting for Thad Castle as James Gunn's Batman in 2024.